I give the floor to Edmund Rice International Limited. Edmund Rice International and Partners welcomes Ireland's commitment to tackle domestic and gender-based violence and the announcement of refuge spaces in nine counties where there are currently no such spaces. However, this still falls short of the one space per 10,000 of population required by the Istanbul Convention. We encourage the government to ensure the upcoming third national strategy on domestic, sexual and gender-based violence includes the collection of disaggregated data and ongoing training for frontline staff. Ireland's commitment to tackle human trafficking is welcomed and the government is asked to confirm its commitment to re-establish a dedicated anti-trafficking unit within the Department of Justice and to develop a third national action plan as per recommendation 157.136. We welcome the intention to revise the national referral mechanism and encourage government to empower and train appropriate groups other than on Garda Síochána to identify and refer trafficking victims. We also encourage government to provide a timeline for ratification of the optional protocol on the sale of children. Ireland's commitment to ensure integration of migrants is noted. However, inadequate housing for asylum seekers and refugees remains a concern. Administrative obstacles also remain. Persons entitled to apply for naturalisation require a valid passport, which many refugees cannot provide. Where extenuating circumstances exist, we recommend this requirement be waived in a consistent manner for asylum cases. And finally, we encourage the enactment of the International Protection Family Reunification Amendment Bill of 2017. Thank you. Thank you.